Hey guys, so I'm going to show you guys how to remove color cast in an image. And this is an image I, I shot recently. And you can kind of see it's, there's kind of like an RNG color tone throughout the whole image. And there's a pretty easy way to remove that. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And you'll, you'll get something that looks like this. This is the, this is the after. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new group and then within that group we're going to have two layers so we've got two layers now so I'm going to name this one highlights and then I'll name the other one shadow so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our highlights. We're going to go to our brush tool and we're going to alt and we're going to select a highlight area. So I'm going to select right here. And then I'm going to hit um, option alt delete and it's just going to make that color the entire image. So now I have to change the blend mode to color. And I get this, and now I'm going to invert it. Just basically just gives you the opposite color. So control I inverts. And then now I'm going to just reduce the opacity. And you can kind of see it removes, start starting to remove that orange effect. So I'm gonna bring this down to I'll go like 12. That looks pretty good. And usually you want to kind of stick in the lower range. I find like anywhere from like seven to 15% is kind of like a, a good range to be in. All right, so now I would just want to isolate the effect we did just to the highlights. So how I do that is I just double click on the layer. So basically we just want to clip the shadows and that's just gonna kind of remove the effect from the shadow portion of the image. So I'm just gonna bring bring this over. And then I'm gonna hit Alt. And then just move this slider towards the center. So it's gonna clip our shadows right here and we still have our, our highlights. So hit OK. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the shadows. So I'm just gonna brush tool Alt, click somewhere on my shadows. And then I'm going to hit um, Alt, delete, and then invert it, control I. And then change the blend mode to color. And then reduce the opacity. And oh, you might, I would suggest just turning the highlight layer off so you can kind of see the effect on just the shadows. So I'm gonna go, I think right about right about there is good. So we're gonna do the same thing is just clip this time we're gonna clip the the highlights and just just so we have the shadows present. All right, and then we can turn back on our highlights. And then since I, I made a group with this, you can actually change the overall effect on the group. So if you want, this is kind of like a master slider and then these two down here are kind of more independent that you can change. So, and then So I think that's pretty good, right about, yeah, 90, 95 is good. So this is the final image, and as you can see, the orange color cast we had is no longer present. So if you, if I go back to the original, this is the original, and you can see that there's just no, compared to after, it's significantly better. 
So this is an easy way to remove any color cast that you might get in your image. And hope you guys found this helpful. See you soon.